to Free Academy English, I'm Geraldine and today we're going to talk about summarizing and paraphrasing. Summarizing and paraphrasing are two important skills for writing and for speaking. When you have to report something that you have read or heard. First, let's talk about paraphrasing. Paraphrasing is saying the same thing in other words. Paraphrasing requires a certain level of grammar and so I recommend checking your grammar when you are paraphrasing because paraphrasing is just saying the same thing in other words, meaning uh, using other grammatical structures, using different vocabulary, so you need a good use of vocabulary and grammar. Or you can take the excuse of paraphrasing to improve your vocabulary and grammar. So that way, the grammar and the vocabulary you're learning is going to stick. You are really going to learn it because you are going to use it for a purpose. And paraphrasing is vital for taking exams like TOEFL and IELTS. In both TOEFL and IELTS, you are encouraged to paraphrase and the better you paraphrase, the higher your score. So some, some key points about paraphrasing is that you don't change the meaning of the word and you don't change the tone that the author uses either. But basically, you say the same thing. Let's say first level of paraphrasing can be just using synonyms. Let's look at an, ex an example. A next level could be word order. Let's see an example. The next level could be grammar change, sentence structure change, with vocabulary change, word uh, family change. That is a very useful one. Um, I made a video about word families. As you know, in essence, this is just practice, practice, and practice. So choose a topic you like to practice this. Or choose a topic you want to like to practice this. Then, if paraphrasing is saying what the author said in your own words, but exactly the same, then summarizing is saying what the author said in your own words in a shorter way. So, summarizing requires an additional skill, recognizing main ideas. So you have to recognize the main idea the author had, so you can summarize it. And while you summarize, since you're making it shorter, you are definitely going to paraphrase. But it's important that you don't focus on details, examples. You have to focus on the big idea. How do you do that? Like, for example, you can listen to a podcast and then a five or 10 minute podcast and then summarize it in one minute. Or just summarize it in one sentence. And so you will see that you understood the main idea. Same, you read a text or a passage, use, if you can summarize it in one sentence, that means that you can identify, you have identified the main idea. If you can't, then maybe you need to reread it because nobody understands something just read by reading it one time. You need to read it, reread it, and read it again. What are the materials you are using for summarizing and paraphrasing? I'm gonna leave you some links for the theory and some links for the practice too. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and I hope to see you soon.